what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Two Utah men believed to be in a doomsday religious cult allegedly married each other's underage daughters. I ain't talking even teenagers. I'm talking about way underage. Samuel Schaffer, 34, and 33-year-old John Colthrop have both been charged with kidnapping. Colthrop also faces charges of sodomy of a child for a sexual assault steaming from an alleged incident on August 1st, 2017. Schaffer allegedly told detectives that he was married to Colthrop's eight-year-old daughter and Colthrop was married to his seven-year-old daughter. Both men are allegedly members of the Knights of the Crystal Blade, which identifies as a fundamentalist offshoot of the Mormon church. Schaffer told detectives he had been the prophet of the church, which allegedly believes in doomsday prophecies and practices polygamy but he had recently passed down the title to Colthrop. Wow. Another fine story brought to you by religion. Man, when will it end? I mean, when? Both are allegedly members of the Knights of the Crystal Blades, more like the Knights of the Crystal Meth. Wow, how do you marry a seven-year-old kid, an eight-year-old kid in the United States of America? Where they do that at? Well, apparently in Utah, but damn, where they come from? Oh, I got that answer too. They mamas and their daddies. That's where they get it from. Mamas and daddies. This is taught, man. This is learned behavior. This is learned behavior, just like racism, just like love, just like hate, just like being educated. It's learned behavior. Wow, amazing. Utah seems to have more than its share of sickos. Things like this happens in Utah all the time. It's like that's where the most deviant people go. Like, man, I, want, I need to go somewhere where I can be the biggest sexual deviant in the world and not be penalized. And if for some reason, somebody from the outside come in and tries to hold me accountable for my actions, I'll just get a slap on the wrist because, hey man, nobody in, in Utah will seriously convict me of anything sexual, especially when it comes to having sex with minors and stuff, and even my, my kids and stuff like that. Nobody's going to do anything because, hey man, these are like-minded individuals. It's kind of like when you would have these mutts out there doing anything they wanted to do to black people and getting away with it. They take black people's land, rape women in front of their Husbands, they'd rape children in front of their parents, kill, lynch, bomb, whatever they want to do. Every now and then, they make their way through the legal system, right? And they end up in court. And almost with 100% accuracy, they'd be found not guilty. They'd be acquitted. Oftentimes, they wasn't even indicted. That is because the people who were standing in judgment of them were like-minded. They were the same people. So that's how it is in Utah. A lot of those people that would be on that jury <laughs> Including the judge, all of these people, man, they, uh, most of these people, they think alike. They, they, they practice that type of lifestyle. So I doubt if anything serious will become of this. I don't think those dudes are going to do any serious time in jail. 
if they do any time at all. As inbred as these two are, I'm surprised they didn't marry each other. Still wondering if Utah has a firing squad. I know they used to have one. I need to check that out. When I look at them, I can't help but think of Donald Trump. For some reason, I just keep thinking of him. I pretty much think of Donald Trump anytime I think of sexual abuse, sexual predators, sexual assault. That's why I'm not holding out any type of hope that these guys are going to be really, really punished. I mean, a whole lot of guys are going to get off. I mean, I know a lot of people are losing their jobs and stuff like that because of uh, sexual assault allegations and things. These are a lot of big people who don't really need a job anymore. These guys, many of these guys got millions and millions and millions of dollars. So they'll be all right. But Donald Trump is not going to, he or his administration are not going to take sexual assault seriously during this administration. It's not going to happen. So I come back to these dudes one more time. You look at these guys and you wonder, where did it come from? We know where they came from. They come from their mammas and their pappies. But where does this behavior come from? Perhaps they're products of a shithole country. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.